So yesterday, man, I posted this picture of me on a horse out here, and I thought I was looking quite majestic. You know what I'm talking about? Look at that boy riding the horse. Now, I understand, y'all gotta understand that I am 6'4", closer to 6'5". I'm 235 pounds this morning when I run. And it's just straight muscle, man. Y'all understand what I'm saying? This ain't, I ain't got no, I ain't got an ounce, I ain't got an ounce of fat on me. It just ain't there. So look, I did that. Now, I'm sitting here thinking that I'm looking quite majestic on the horse. And with friends like this, who need enemies? My guy, Big Mac, he put this out. This is what he says. This is you on the, po on the pony, Jay. This is a full grown horse. This is my boy, this is my boy uh, D. He said, you looking like Clint Eastwood on the horse. Well, Clint Eastwood like 6'4", How about that? And, and not you. Et tu brute? Et tu brute? Et tu brute? You two? He the first one that put this out, man. Talking about some, look at me on the horse. And then you got the kid talking about some yee-haw. Come on, man. Why? Why, like I said, with friends like this, who needs enemies? But with enemies like that, you can have a friend like me because every single Friday, I'm going to be your friend, man. I'm going to be giving away $50 in VC cash out or a video game, the extra regular ass edition that you might uh, that you might want, man. Uh, also, uh, if you do that every single Friday, all you got to do, like the video and put horse at the end of your comment. Also, on the end of the month, we're going to be trying to give away, we can continue to average 8K views. We're going to be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be a PlayStation, a PS5, or I'm gonna give away a laptop, or I'm gonna give away like $500 or something like that if you don't want none of that above right there. We trying to make this thing work for y'all, man. We said 10K views last month, we didn't get there. We averaged 8.5, so this month, I'm gonna put it below the 8.5, cause I'm really trying to get it away to y'all, man. And last but not least, the bots are down in the comment section, man. Forget those bots, ignore the bots. I, I'm not a bot, I'm not putting my uh, phone number down there in the comment section, I don't have Telegram. All I got is Instagram, Twitter, and all of y'all know Black Planet. So that's all I got, man. With all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. I woke up to this tweet right here, boy. That boy Quavo Quavo said, this is what he said, man. Y'all go watch this goddamn video. Y'all defense be rattling me. Please go watch this right now. And so I had to check it out and see what it's talking about. I seen Big, Bob, Big Dog Banner to my yo or whatever. So I had to check it out. And Big Dog Banner, he put this out a month ago, giving away every single bit of the sauce on the game on how to play defense. It's a defensive shading system plus defensive tips plus all of that. How to stop sliding on defense. How to do everything, man. He put all of that out there. All y'all gotta do is go watch the damn video. This video is a month old, bro. Let me show y'all something. How disappointed I am in the 2K community. Okay, it's not up there. It didn't show. Uh, can I do this one? There we go. This video is a month old. And it got one point 3k views but guess what that's how the 2k community do because it's defense 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 if it was a jump shot video it'll have a million views right now that's how good it is y'all need to go over there and run that video up man because he is telling y'all everything i don't understand why everybody in the 2k community thinks i mean i put out defensive videos defensive tutorials and they really don't be doing that neither and i just don't understand it i don't get it why the 2k community is not concerned with defense but we the first people to go and complain about how defense is and how bad it is and he telling you everything from how to stop stuff in the paint to how to play defense how to get easy steals how to how the shading system works how to get more bumps he's literally giving you all the sauce on how to do it now he got a lock with a 99 uh with, with 99 strength man i ain't gonna tell y'all to do that but you know it is what it is but this how you gonna be looking out there and this how i should have been looking out there he said how about this this is my version of fun a uh, years ago you're gonna be like a bull out there in a china shop everybody gonna be scared to run up on you and you're gonna be playing defense like big dog banner i'm telling you go over there check the video out it's 30 minutes but i'm telling you it's gonna go by just like that tell them easy sent you because he is an honorary uh professor in lockdown university i ain't gonna cap to you banner can we do a video together where i got the look look banner i got the board banner i got the board i got the doggone what you call it i got the board and i got the pen 
I'm going to be writing up on the board, telling them everything that you did. And then, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a video together if you're trying to do a video together. I'm trying to do a Lockdown University video with you because you have shown me that you, yo, yo I, I always know you was elite defense, but I didn't even know. I know you stream on Twitch. I didn't even know you had YouTube, my guy. So, yo, we're going to try to get some people over there and check that out because the community needs to watch that damn video, especially Big Mac ass right now. Go watch the video after this one. Up next, we got the boy solo man he just says look he trying to get y'all some some good uh some good karma man he said this is a message for all the content creators in the community all the views are down right now but that's normal views are always low in october and november time frames it's not you it's the overall viewership right now you're pushing i mean keep pushing you'll shine when it comes back and uh we always know 2k normally has two resurgences it has one right after um one right after Christmas, one after Black Friday, and then one after Christmas because that's when everybody's going to get the game. And then number two, uh, normally around May or June when they get a game away for free, man. So you normally get two resurgences then, and then obviously in July, um, obviously in July when when um, the, the news and information starts coming out, man. So, you know, it is what it is. We don't worry about that stuff, man. We're going to keep putting up two videos a day until the end, until the end of time. <laughs> or until I just get tired, I don't know. It is, you know, that, that's just how it go. Hey, the boy Power DF said a serious question. Do you all call it stage or anti up? I want to know. I think everybody call it stage. That's because nobody call it anti up. Yeah, see, there we go. 15% call it uh, anti up. I don't think anybody call it anti up. I think the 2K being some trolls this year by putting it in the theater and making theater be stage and all that stuff. I, I thought that was cool uh, by them. So when people say they playing stage, maybe they'll go be playing theater. But, you know, it's 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 just one of those things where um they changed it up a little bit and speaking of stage stage and theater i think that's why people think that the game is bro theater is one of those things where most people really are that's what most of the people really are so like if you just play park you might think that there's not a whole lot of people in the park bro or that the game is dead but i'm telling you they in that theater and they in the wreck heavily partially because they can get games back to back partially because they don't have to worry about people walking off the spot and they don't have to wait and also partially because um 2k make you be in the wreck and the theater heavily just to do this thing uh just to just to get the legend this year so a lot of people that ain't even gonna get the legend they in there it is yeah it, it, that's just how it goes up next we got the boy kai here's a fixture over here man me and kai don't always see eye to eye but i f with him i ain't gonna lie to you i mean he's a he's a cornucopia of tweets every day so i rock with it man hey look he says what preferred release timing are we using nowadays a lot of people are saying late very late late very late i'm not gonna lie to y'all i designed my jump shot for very early and um though it is confusing sometimes i designed both of all of my jump shots to go to release right here when he gets to the um you know right in front of his face or whatever so it makes it easy for me i designed the same cue in every single jump shot so it's easy to read so you can put it on very early but you can also do it on late and very late because those it's always a wrist snap at the end so that's what i'm going with y'all let me know what y'all going with down in the comment section that boy ej says if you could change one thing about nba 2k 23 what would it be some people just being trolls saying everything. Somebody saying steals. Uh, you got response to uh, response to positioning. Nerf the quick drops. Do dudes hold the right stick up? And I, just, I ain't got no problem with none of that stuff right there, man. Uh, let me say it like I don't have. I, I don't care about that stuff, man. A lot of people saying steals. I, but see, a lot of his community is on. Um, a lot of his community is on. Uh, current gen so I heard the steals are crazy on current gen man but you know one person actually at level head he says honestly if it's one thing about 2k uh 23 is that my player build I'd rather change from having the freedom to create of uh, creating every creating a my player with limitations to uh, archetype or whatever I don't think we're never going back to that some people saying stamina stamina bar limitless takeoff at least he's saying that part because limitless takeoff is the actual issue not quick drops and all that stuff a lot of people got a lot of things but what would y'all change if you could change one thing about it what would you change if I could change one thing about it I would change the um even though it would make it harder for us to I would probably change the um the stone walls for clamps i would probably make those a little bit more potent but you don't want to mess with the floor of the game so 
right now, I would just kind of leave it the same. It's just, it's just is what it is. But if anything, I would probably change that. Up next, we got the boy Mark, uh, Marco, man. It's Marco Self Made. He put this out. He said, this is happening to me almost every time I go to the spin the wheel. And pretty much, you got people sitting on their carts. Um, they just sitting their cart out there. I don't know who probably put the video out there. Somebody probably put a ticky tacky out there or something like that, man. But it, it's, it's just one of those things where people do things and 2k has to work on issues like that so now they probably gonna have to put a bar around it so that you can't see uh so that you cannot see you can't pull your vehicle that close so people can walk in and 2k has to work on stuff like that rather than actually just working on things that are actually important like rocket you know fixing the uh things tuning the game making the game a little bit better and all that they got to deal with the community trying to do silly stuff man so that's that's tough but that's where we at with it hey the boy king john says take this day like this is the, for content creators some little affirmation and stuff man to take this day to plan what your content is going to be uh for the week let's try to upload something every day this week i challenge you comment what type of videos you're doing and uh let's motivate each other and i ain't gonna lie to y'all man i got one of the videos that i was doing the dr disrespect video but uh i mean it, it didn't get the fanfare that i that i wanted it to it was the uh it was the dr disrespect simulating this career but we gonna get there though man i'm not gonna stop doing those videos i really like doing those simulated career videos and stuff like that so if y'all want to keep keep um let me you know keep pushing me Yo, go watch that video. Check that out, man. And last but not least, we got the boy Hanky the Tanky, well, a successful crossover, man. He says, I won my first international multi-versus land tournament, and we didn't lose a single game. This was a very exciting experience, and I had a lot of fun. This was also one of my first, uh, my, this was also my first time competing internationally, man. Hey, when Multiverses came out, we already knew Hank the Tank was really into fighting games, but when Multiverses came out, um, he really, I, I never knew that he was going to try to go that hard on that game, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, all of that stuff and more happened today. But look, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all comment something down there. Um, you know, horse at the end of your comment. Or you can comment Banner, man. Go watch that video by Big Dog Banner and uh, get in it to, to win $50. Matter of fact, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm taking, I'm going to take my, I'm going to take somebody from this week, but I'm going to take somebody off of that video, one of the comments in the Banner video. So if you didn't make it this far, you better go watch the Banner video and comment Banner, I mean, easy in the Banner video uh, because I'm going to take a winner from that one on Friday. So we're giving away two this week, man. We're going to give away one. Off of, off of my channel and one off of that video that Banner got, man, because I really feel like y'all need to go watch that joint and check it out because that's it's just excellent defensive uh, uh, stuff, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, please.